with me, your mate, Louis T. Well, to this Louis T. Network exclusive, new unis, all right? Buccaneers, all right, wait, wait, first of all, are these really new, okay? These feel refurbished, okay? <laughs> these don't really feel that new to me. And I was expecting Nike to put a little twist on something and make me feel special here. And I, I, I first of all, I'm not a Buccaneers fan. So I'm not as nostalgic about the O2 unis. That's where these are pretty much taken from. These are essentially Nike saying, hey, um, we're going to take the uh, Buccaneers when they were good, uh, put those uniforms back on, take the Reebok sign off the side, the logo off, and we're going to slap a Nike check and we're going to call them brand new. Now, they did throw in a brand new color. Uh, and so we can take a closer look at that. So, you know, in the olden days, uh, it, back when the Buccaneers were a force in the Gruden and uh, um, the John Gruden and Tony Dungy era, they had the white on whites. They had the um, red on pewter, but they didn't have pewter on pewter. And so that's the new thing here is that almost like a color rush, but, you know, the NFL did away with the color rush. But that's what that kind of uniform looks like and resembles. It's sort of like a color rush for the Buccaneers. But that's going to be an alternate for them when they decide they want to get freaky. They'll throw those on. I actually like the alternate, like the pewter on pewter. I think that's a good look. It's clean. I like that. Uh, but the other two, I've seen them before, okay? So I got all ginned up, all excited. And, you know, I thought they were going back to the, the, the creamsicle colored uh, uniforms or at least give us an alternate there. But... I think they kind of alluded to the fact that they want to do that moving forward, but the NFL has to allow them to wear the helmets that go with it. And right now you're not allowed to wear uh, an alternate helmet to match the uniform that you want to throw back to. So remember the Rams would look kind of funky when they would wear their throwbacks and they'd still have on the regular Ram helmets and it looked weird. Um, so the NFL is going to relax that policy, I think, in 2021 or something like that. I think that's going to be uh, the move there. And if they, in fact, do that, Bruce Arians kind of alluded to the fact that they like to get back to wearing those creamsicle ones. Those are the ones I really want to see. But um, this is cool. Uh, I always liked those Buccaneers uniforms. But again, uh, the only real difference here is that uh, the new logo, obviously new helmet um, logo, and the new Buccaneers um, lettering, uh, from the new uniforms and the new uh, logo change a couple of years ago. But everything else is pretty much the same. And they threw in an alternate uniform that looks pretty dope. I, I will admit that, but it's the same thing. So they got me kind of excited uh, for nothing. Uh, what do you think? New uniforms, maybe not new. I, I like to call them refurbished, okay? <laughs> new Buccaneers uniforms, hate them, love them, indifferent. I mean, again, I, I don't feel like there's much here. But um, I do like the pewter on pewter. I think that is pretty uh, crisp. Uh, but I also wanted to talk about a uniform that, or a, a logo change that they kind of snuck it in on us. So I want to quickly touch on that. The Chargers switched their logo up a little bit. And remember, the Rams came out with their logo a week ago, and it was trash, and everyone killed it. And the Chargers quietly, I think it was the same day exactly, or maybe the day before, but quietly the Chargers said, we're going to allow the Rams to take all the heat here, and we're just going to sneak our logo in there, right? When no one's looking, because we were the ones that took the backlash and the heat a couple of years ago, when, and back in like, I think it was 2017, when they tried to trot out that, tr that Chargers logo with the LA that looked like a bolt and all that stuff. And everyone killed it, said it looked like the Dodgers logo and that they ripped it off. And, you know, everyone just destroyed it. And within hours, that thing was changed back to the um, old logo. And so they said, you know what? We'll let the Rams have the show. We'll just quietly slip our new logo in there. We won't say anything. We won't tell anybody. And if when they notice, they just notice. And <laughs> essentially, that's what they did. New logo. I like it. It's clean. It, it, they didn't do much to it, but they figured, look. We don't want to try to reinvent the wheel here. We tried to do that the last time and almost got crucified. They wanted our heads on a stick. We're not doing that this time. So this kind of has that 1970s um, Chargers look to it with the A, with the um, 
a bolt at the bottom of it and and they did away with the uh the the blue sort of like what the lions did a couple of years ago where they got rid of all of the black out of their uniforms remember that the lions had the little splash of black and uh they also had some white in there too and the lions pretty much got rid of all of that well they had the splash of black when they were starting to go to that alternate all black, the, you know, the black top and all of that stuff. And then there was a, the outline of the line was black. And so they just got rid of all of that. And they just simplified the logo look, cleaned it up a bit. Nike came in, got rid of the black, made it essentially all of that, that lion's blue with the um, silver. That's what the Chargers essentially did here. If you recall, they had that navy blue, that darkish tint blue with their logo. They got rid of that. Um, and here's what the old logo looked like, as you can see, outlined in that dark navy. Um, no more is that the case. Now it's actually outlined in just the uh, powder blue, or as they like to call it, the sunshine blue. And there's a white outline in, in, in this case. Like if you go back to the previous shot of it here, you see there's a white outline, but when you have it on a white backdrop, you won't actually see that um, outline. So... Uh, that's how the new logo looks. Again, not much here, but just a quick minor tweak. And I, I, like I said, I, I want to see what they do with that in terms of the unis. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that actually looks like when they get their uniforms and um, if they make a subtle tweak to it. Like like this past year, they, they quietly changed the face mask to all yellow, and I thought it was pretty dope. And so I, I want to see how they play with the uniform, if they do anything with it. Obviously, they will no longer have the all blue unis. They're probably just going to go with the all sunshine blue. So uh, I want to see if they're going to make any tweaks, any adjustments to the uniform with this sort of tweaked logo or not. I'm anxious to see what they do there. Anxious to see what the Rams do with their uniforms with the new logo. Uh, but tell me what you think. Uh, new Buccaneers uniforms, or as I like to say, refurbished. What do you think? I do love the pewter on pewter. I think that is pretty dope. But um, what do you think about the Buccaneers' new uh, logo, uh, uniforms and the Chargers' new uh, logos? Uh, slight tweak. What do you think? Leave it down in the, the comment section. Looking forward to reading all your comments. Like this video. Subscribe to the Louis T Network if you haven't already done so. Remember, if it's not your man T, it's not the best NFL coverage. It could be. Until next time, you guys take it easy. Redskins fans out there, new Redskins uh, report live on Wednesday. Thursday, we'll be breaking down and I'm going to tweak the scheduling. We're going to stick with the offensive side of the football and then next week, we'll transition to the defensive side of the football. So this week, it's tight ends, offensive line. Next week, we'll transition to the defense and knock down the defensive side of the football. So looking forward to chopping it up with you guys over the next couple of days, uh, talking Redskins on Wednesday and talking 2020 NFL draft tight ends and the offensive line should be a ton of fun. Until then, you guys know how to get at me and, and take care. All right. Protect yourself out there. Make sure you're taking all the precautionary uh, measures necessary to keep you and your family safe. And I will chop it up with you guys later. Leave it in the comment section. Can't wait to read and leave a thumbs up as well. And a sub if you haven't already done so. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.